with these artificial reefs, we are creating substrate and habitat for reef fish and for encrusting organisms and even bacterial biofilms to accumulate on these substrates. It appears that there's a lot of carbon biomass on this substrate now. Before it was barren seafloor uh, with mud and sand. Now we've got three-dimensional substrate. So what we're doing is going to measuring and estimating as best we can every fish that's residing on the, on the reef and estimating how much they weigh and how much carbon that might be. And then going and taking subsamples of the encrusting organisms and then taking video and estimating how much encrusting organisms are over all of the substrate that's been put down. From that, we can come up with a, a more accurate number of how much carbon is sequestered on the reef. This image here kind of shows us our main, um, what is called an echogram, and it's basically the sonar imaging that we collect when we're out in the field to show us what is directly underneath and in front of the boat, um, to show us what type of fish are in the water column currently, and also what type of substrate and type of um, features that we might be going over with the boat. Fish abundance is really important in regards to the entire carbon cycle um, within the ocean. And this program itself can also give us a lot of um, information about specific biomass, so even chlorophyll content, nutrient content, things like that. Um, so all of these organisms are things that are either using or taking up carbon. And so all of that is interrelated, not only to what's happening directly on the sea floor, but also what's happening in the water.